Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So uh, for this week update, medyo hindi masadong okay yung naging week natin kasi nakaroon ng sakit si Odi. So I personally was not able to do a lot of things last week, but I was checking my checklist. That's why it's good for you to have checklist as well, because you can see really, you know, like what are the tasks that you should do in a day, para wala ka din mamimiss na kahit anong task na kailangan mong gawin for the week. Especially if those tasks are very important when it comes to your company's progress, your Ako, in my case, my student's progress, my VA's progress. So, I thought last week I wasn't able to do a lot of things. Although, dapat talaga meron ako mga task na na-complete, may mga task na nagawa. Pero, I wasn't able to really do it because last week, yun nga, nagkasakit si Odi. So, I was the one taking care of her. And that's a good thing as well in, you know, working from home. Kasi, alam mo yun, may mga times na kailangan na kailangan mong alagaan yung anak mo, pero hindi mo siya magawa because you are working outside. So, um, kids are very clingy kapag meron silang nararamdaman. And I know that for sure because I have two kids, ba? Diba? So, Audi and Lexus, they are both clingy. Lagi nila akong hinahanap kapag masama yung pakiramdam nila. So, I'm super grateful that I was able to take care of my kids and at the same time work. So, uh, kumita kahit na dito lang ako sa bahay at naalagaan ko sila. Isa din sa nangyari last week was our air conditioner. Bumigay na siya. So, itong AC na to, sabi ni JP, Ever since high school siya, ito na talaga yung AC niya. So, this was the AC that we are using ever since na lumipat ako dito sa Tandang Sora. So, five years na kami ni JP. And five years na sa amin yung AC na yon. At the same time, more than five years na siya nagamit ni JP. So, isa siya sa mga gusto ko talaga na ma-achieve before 2022 ends. Pero na-pushback siya na na-pushback kasi madami tayong investment na ginawa. Madami tayong mga bagay na mas inuna kaysa sa easy na yon. But at the back of my mind, isa talaga siya sa mga gusto kong ma-achieve before 2022. So, yung first na gusto gusto kong i-achieve is yung magkaroon kami ng insurance as a whole family. So, insurance just in case, you know, something bad happens to me and JP secured yung mga bata. And at the same time, I opened an insurance for educational purposes naman for Audi and Lexo. So, alam yun, yung mga bagay na hindi siya nagawa ng mga parents natin in the past. We have the chance and the ability to do it and do it now. So, the insurance I got before my birthday kasi yun talaga yung birthday wish ko. I don't want anything grand. I don't want anything new. Hindi ko alam kung ako lang ba yun. Pero, I feel like you know, when you are growing up, hindi, na, hindi ka naman na talaga after for the celebration or going outside. You know me and JP, we don't really like going outside. Kasi, I don't know, maybe, gusto ko ng occasion, gusto ko makipag-meet sa tao, pero ayoko talaga ng ang hassle lumabas, ang init sa labas. So, I really prefer just staying inside the home. So, isa yun sa mga wish ko and I was super happy that we were able to get insurance last October 2022. And then, now, December, bago matapos yung taon, bumigay yung aircon namin. So, we don't have a choice talaga. Natulog kami ng two days sa sala ng mga bata and I bought air conditioner to Ate Kath and Kuya Jeff. So, itong mga tao na to, they are the ones who are really cleaning our ACs even before and I know na meron silang shop for AC. So, sila yung trinast ko bilhan. So, if you're ever wondering if saan kayo pwedeng bumili or magpalinis sa mga AC ninyo, lagay ko na lang dito yung kanilang mga Facebook accounts so you can message them. One more thing was that uh, we recently launched our TC landing page. So, this is for the previous webinar last Friday. It's all about transaction coordination for real estate agents. We launched it along with the database management mini course. Mini course lang siya guys kasi ito 
ay introduction lang sa TC course na ilo-launch natin sa 2023. So, we decided to sell it for 100 pesos para still makasupport kayo kay Revasist and patuloy na magkaroon ng mga free webinars na quality para din sa inyo sa mga audience. So, sabi nga ni Coach Demi sa TSOC, we have to teach our students to be accountable kasi kapag webinars na free, um, you don't really invest in something so okay lang sa inyo na hindi na lang panoorin, hindi mag-take action but if you are going to invest on something, merong sa back of your mind na responsibility for you to watch the video and learn something from it. So, yun yung gusto kong i-implement lalo sa mga students ng Revasist and sa community ng Revasist natin ngayon. So, yeah, um, this week's video is going to be short. Wala masyadong cheche boreche. By the way nga pala, I tried applying as well for a TC job position. Um, maglalagay na lang ulit ako ng video dito para meron kayong idea sa mga questions na tinatanong and ano yung mga pwede ninyong isagot sa mga questions na yon So, isa yun sa mga isasama ko sa episode na ito. To get things rolling, uh, tell us more about yourself, Isa. Well, more about your real estate work experience and something fun about you outside work. Okay. So, yeah, I started out Um, three years ago as a cold caller actually for a real estate agent in California and then afterwards I became a social media manager transaction coordinator assistant I do lead generation um, with of course different clients so I have um, vast um, experience when it comes to residential and commercial space Um, I've handled solo agents, team of agents, solo investors, and team of investors. So I'm practically doing a lot of things throughout my career. But if I'm going to focus on my transaction coordination side, I really started out as a TCA for a TC company in California under um, Shanda McCumber. And that's where I got all the knowledge about the transaction coordination side of the business, um, opening escrow, checking all of the contracts, making sure that the timeline is correct. And of course, um, during that time, I was using KW Command, where I am uploading all the documents and checking it for the market, uh, market center. Um, I have also handled um, just recently a team of Hawaii agents um, in Honolulu, and we're also okay. using um, KW. Are they real estate agents? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, are they real estate agents? Yes, they are. Okay. On on char on char real estate agents, right? Yes, they are. Yep. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. So we are using their. Um, Boomtown and I'm sorry, it's it's uh, Broker Mint, um, Broker Mint and KW Command. So they have a separate um, CRM using for their company. And aside from that, I'm also uploading the documents in Command for the Market Center to use it. So I'm pretty much familiar with the Sky Slope, Broker Mint, um, DocuSign, and all of that stuff for TC. Yep. Wow. I'm happy to know that you do have experience with SkySlope because that is our main uh, tool. Uh-huh. Uh, if, we're ta- if we're talking about transactions coordinator side, that's going to be the heavily used and abused tool yeah. <laughs> on all our transactions. So happy to know that you do have experience with that because that certainly is a plus uh, because SkySlope might be very easy to look at, very simple to look at, but it also is a bit complicated uh, in some aspects so we really need someone who has uh, experience in uh, doing transactions through Skyslope. all right so uh yeah uh i cut you off earlier so uh something fun about yourself aliza or Isa, sorry um maybe it's the fact that i i love going or I love meeting people but I don't really like going outside I just don't like the heat and being sweaty love, you love it to stay in air easy <laughs> right yeah so working for that's, that's according to, yeah that's according to your video what's your video yeah. oh my gosh I just don't like the sweat so yeah 
I want to talk about more about your transactions coordinator experience. So, it has for how long was this? Um, so I think it's about two years because my first year is all about cold calling. Okay. Oh, so the three years experience uh, in real estate. Uh, you started as a cold caller for the first year and eventually got promoted, or you got switched to the transactions coordinator. Yeah. For two years, and this is for the what's the name of the client? Um, I think it's okay. Yeah. It's Isa, what what do you think is the key quality of a good transaction school coordinator? I think it's really about you know um attention to details and being um, holding the agents accountable with a timeline. Because um, in Hawaii, um, as I told you, or as I've mentioned to you before, they are very well when it comes to communication. But I have one agent which is a pain in the butt for me because she's old. She's a good closer though. She's closing a lot of transactions, but she is not really good when it comes to documents and stuff. So I really okay. have to hold her accountable. Um, about the deadlines, about checking in if we were able to, like, were you able to talk to the um, sellers when would they be available for the inspection, about the appraisal, about the deadlines, basically. So, um, if if the transaction coordinator is, um, they are not, um, what do you call this, um, firm enough to hold the agents accountable with the timeline, then the transaction will um move its deadline and it's gonna cost everyone involved um money and time as well so especially nowadays that the market has shifted it's no longer seller's market um we've we're not receiving a lot of offers and the days mm -hmm. on the market is taking longer so i think it's gonna be helpful for the transaction coordinator to be firm as well so yeah I agree, and if you're a TC, um, time uh, it might be your best friend, but also time might also be uh, a pain in the head. It might also be your enemy. As a coach, as a supervisor, mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Or for you, what is integrity? Because that's a big thing. Exactly. Whenever in all industry, especially when you're working at home. Yeah. So for you, what is integrity, and how do you? cherish or how do you value integrity on a work setup yeah so as a coach i really want my students to like be able to log in on time or hold themselves accountable i love the word hold themselves accountable <laughs> with the success right so i always tell them that you have to love your your boss's business and make it as your own for it to become successful um, to the point that even if they are not watching you, even if they are not looking, you are doing the right thing. And it's hard because sometimes it's okay to do shortcuts and stuff. But at the end of the day, it will just take you longer if you're not going to do the right thing from the very beginning. So. And, and when did you start working with them? Last year. And they just dropped the bomb last week that I am not... Um, I'm not gonna be their TC anymore. Why is that? Well, they before they have a lot of closings and transactions, but just recently, I'm not receiving any more closings from them, and it's hard. Uh, they have three VAs at that time, and I'm not doing anything else aside from transaction coordination. They do have a VA who's doing cold calling and TC for them. So that VA was kept and I was thrown out of the bus. <laughs> how, many, how many TCs did they have? Uh, they, do, they do have me as their lead TC and then that VA is just helping me. So she's a TC assistant. I figure I, I'm very easy. It's like an informal, I guess, to a cold interview. So don't be nervous. Um, I think I, what I'll do is I'll just take a couple minutes and I'll tell you a little bit about myself and the business that we're that we're rebuilding right now and what we're hiring for and all the positions even though I think you're coming in for a transactional coordinator, right? Yeah, that's right. I'll let you know all the positions we're, we're hiring for. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Take five minutes to do that. 
then I'll turn it over to you and you can tell me about yourself. I'll pull up your resume, I can follow along with what you've been doing. And okay. you can just tell me a little bit about yourself, why you think you might be a good fit for the role. And then we can just easily have some dialogue back and forth and go from there. How's that sound? Yep, sounds good. Yep. Awesome. So, about 12 years ago, I started what was called a real estate development company where we were buying, renovating, and flipping properties. So, in a nutshell, that's a little bit about me. Um, now I can hand it over to you. You can tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> okay. So, I believe you are working both worlds, investors and real estate agent. Is that is that correct? Yeah. Say it again? You're working both worlds, like investor side and agent side, right? I am. Yeah. That's correct. Gotcha. Yep. All right. So, yeah, I am based here in the Philippines. I actually know you from um, Renzo Laxon, your TikTok guy. I also oh. met <laughs> I also met him on TikTok. We are not really like friends friends. We haven't seen each other, but I'm also a content creator. And um, oh, yeah. yep, so as I have mentioned to Vince, I really started out my career as a cold caller um, way back 2017, I believe, and it's for a color uh, real Remax agent at that time. Um, his name is Abbas, and right now he is into multifamily deals, so he's also an investor right now. Um, 2020, I lost three family members, and I was not really oh. thinking straight at that time, so I resigned to Abbas, and then after a week, I I like figured out, oh, I'm not that rich, uh, rich yet, so <laughs> I want to get my work back. But then, of course, Abbas um, told me that, you know, I can't do that because other ISAs in the team might do the same thing. And I can't, you know, I can't do that to my business. So, of course, I understand. But then I have to find another agent. And I met this um, Keller Williams guy from California. So, with Robert, I was a social media manager, appointment setter, and a TC a little bit. So, I work with him manage his social media actually it's more on the social media and cold calling or appointment setting because i am calling expired leads for for him at that time and then it's just a part-time job so i tried to look for another um task for me or another company and that's where i was hired as a tc assistant at first i don't really have an experience about tc but I worked with this TC company in California with Shanda McComber. She became my trainer and she really taught me a lot of things like sky slope, DocuSign, Command, and all of those stuff. So I learned about California contracts. To be honest with you, I haven't seen a New York contract yet. Um, I only was able to manage Hawaii and um, California. Um, for that and then I don't have any idea about investor side of transaction coordinate co coordination just real estate agent those are really my expertise and then yeah um, I am also running my own business here in the Philippines I'm not sure if Vince already mentioned that to you I'm a real estate VA coach and a content creator so basically I am teaching aspiring real estate virtual assistants as well with podcast, social media, lead generation, email marketing, and cold calling and appointment setting because those are the tasks that I know how to do. And um, I purchased REI Reply. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but I purchased that for them so that they can call and they will have an experience. They know how to do you know, scripts, rebuttals, and all of that stuff. So that's me in a nutshell oh by the way i do have two kids they are named after our dream cars it's out audi and lexus yep <laughs> wow all right that's different very cool uh, so um tell me about so on the, on the you got a little you got a little bit of a, a little of experience in a couple of things then you're not just you're not just TC role you got obviously some other stuff that I could utilize you for possibly as well exactly <laughs> what do you like doing the best 
I would say training since that's my business nowadays. So when you are talking about, you know, creating systems and teaching it to other people, then that's my expertise. That's me, basically. So I guess um, what I would say here is, um, why don't we figure out um, the next steps? Why don't you figure out, come up with a cool proposal of what, what you think you could do for us. Um, and I'm gonna get back with Vince. I want you all to remind, send it over to Vince, but I still want you to, uh, I want you to let Vince know about what you're doing with the interns and how you're doing um, some training with them and how you have, may have some people that need experience or that have experience that want to gain their experience that might be able to help us out too because that might be something that I'm, I'm open to. I just don't like people that have no experience being on the phones or doing stuff with us because they haven't gone through our training. But listen, if I think you're a good fit and we can put you into a role that may work for us, then I'm going to leverage you for a lot of other things and it's going to help you and help your business. I really hope that you are all doing well. Christmas is coming. We have a webinar this coming Friday, which is our last live webinar for this year. And then magpapahinga tayo para next year, more and more learnings from Revasis to our community. So stay safe, enjoy the holidays, and we will see you again next week. Have a great one. Bye!